Namaste, everybody. It's your girl, Christy B, holistic urbanite, integrating mind, body, and spirit. Everybody knows I love, love yoga. It is one of the most amazing, profound ways to get your mind, body, and spirit in complete, total alignment. It is the most wonderful thing to help you with your spirit and your heart. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's an amazing way to lose weight, um, to find stillness. It's such a wonderful, you know, yoga means union. And some people say yoga means, you know, union with God. But others say it just means union, you know, union with self. So today, I just wanted to come, it's been a little while, and just do a little Chaturanga Dandasana flow. So just hang with me, go get your mat, go get some water, go get your towel. We're just gonna do a quick chaturanga flow. And I, you know, we're just gonna get down and then, you know, we'll do a little bit more as time go on. But today we're just gonna, you know, get loose. There's a lot going on in the world right now. I know so many people are so stressed out and there's so much high anxiety in the air. And at the same time you have this high anxiety, there's so much beauty and splendor going on in the universe as well. And so this is an amazing time to just check in with yourself find stillness within find stillness within so today we're gonna come to our knees come to a quick child's pose come to tabletop bring your big toes to touch spread your knees out as wide as your mat send your tailbone back towards your toes bring your torso down towards your mat Send your third eye to the top of your mat and just inhale, breathe right here. Open mouth, exhale. And just really find openness in your hips. You know, move side to side. Really stretch out those arms, stretch out your shoulders if you need to. Your girl, Christy B, I got a little bit of a shoulder injury, so I have to take it really easy, really light on my shoulders. And just really reach out, keep breathing, inhale through your nose. Exhale, open mouth. <sighs> inhale, bring your hands towards your torso bring your knees to your mat come into tabletop position inhale cat pose cow pose exhale cat Ooh. side to side just wiggle it out inhale cow exhale cat <clears throat> push your navel to your spine Really feel that release in your low back. Inhale, cow. Exhale. Inhale, tabletop. Bring your, come to your toes, flip your toes. Prepare for downward dog. Inhale, push your knees back, send your tailbone to the sky. Stay right here. Mm. Really, in the downward dog, you really want to feel that V posture. You know, you can take a moment to walk your dog, bend your knees, send your heels to your mat, send your tailbone to the sky. Really inhale, really Find engagement in your core. Send your hands out like starfish. And just drop your head down between your elbows. And we're just gonna breathe right here. Inhale, look forward. 
gently step to the top of your mat fold over here find your rag doll bend your knees as much as you need to you know here you could be you could be here which is more of a fold over stretch but if you don't have that flexibility it's okay to bend over use your knees really sink in have a base here have your knee, your knees in line with your ankles and just drop your head you can interlace your hands with your elbows and just swing back and forth and really find that release in your low back drop your head down keep swinging side to side Inhale, exhale, inhale, bring your hands to the ground. Right now your feet are hip width distance apart. Right here, bring your feet into parallel and just roll up slowly, vertebra by vertebra. And you want to do it on the inhale. Inhale, inhale, up, up, up. Bring your shoulders up, slide them back. Standing with your hands out. Inhale, mountain. Really find the neutral stance in your mountain posture. Hips should be in line with your shoulders. Knees are slightly bent. Hands push to the sky. Engage your core. Inhale. Exhale. Prayer position. Bring your hands in the prayer. Exhale. Fold over. Really feel that stretch. Now this is a time you shift your weight slightly in your heels. Send your tailbone to the sky. Engage your core. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins, send your tailbone out, send your tailbone back, flat back, hands to your shins, just below your knees, shift your weight into the balls of your feet, this is what your flat back, have your gaze at the top of your mat, looking down, and your head pushing forward. Exhale, forward foot. Bend your knees, fold over. We're gonna try that one more time. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And one more time. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. From here, we're gonna go into our plank. Exhale, palms to the floor, to the mat. Step back, plank position. Shift forward. Exhale, exhale, plank, plank. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale, down. So one more time, I'm gonna teach you a couple of ways to modify your chaturanga, right? So when you come to plank, you're here in plank, and you can, and this is a exhale, exhale. This is a shift forward, exhale, exhale. Flip the back of your toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Come back to your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's the chaturanga that you want to do. That's a little bit more intermediate. If you want to do a more basic beginning chaturanga, meet me in plank. We're in plank right here. Bring your knees down. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, flip your toes, downward facing dog.
okay so you have two ways you can do it you can leave your knees up in the plank or if you need to you can put your knees down so for today we're going to do the more the intermediate in time we'll do more modified ways of doing things but for today i just really want to show you the really strong ninja way of doing that chaturanga so we're going to actually come back to forward fold so bring your toes aligned bring your feet in the parallel we're going to do that forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale palms to the floor step back shift forward exhale inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog how is that let me know i see so many people doing so many crazy things on social media with these chaturangas so the thing about the chaturanga is you really want to keep that core strong you have to have a little bit of shoulder strength you know and in time you'll get better and better and better so we're going to start from the top come to mountain pose inhale mountain exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale chaturanga dandasana palms to the floor shift forward exhale exhale inhale upward facing dog Flip your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. How is that? So that is Chaturanga Dandasana. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if there's anything you wanna know about yoga, any kind of postures, anything. That is known as the sun salutation or Chaturanga Dandasana. There's so many names. And we'll do a deep dive in all these different things about yoga in many, many videos to come. So I hope you really enjoyed this. Let me know if you got a chance to pull out your mat and hang out with me and go over this quick little Chaturanga Dandasana. It's your girl, Christy D, Holistic Urbanite, integrating mind, body, and spirit. Namaste.